Hello and welcome to Dragon's Den, the road tests. We're just setting up here at Gardener's World Live. We're going to hear what the public make of the ideas that have been pitched in the den. Some will flower and some will wither away. All five dragons were impressed with Chris's range of power tools, but less impressed with the way he'd structured his company. In the end, Duncan and Peter saw past the complications and invested £150,000 in the prolific product designer. I'm not the greatest DIY expert, but I will do my best to demonstrate as we see what the public think. Um, I'm going to show you something, and if I'm absolutely honest, I'm the wrong person to show you. Right, right said free. Oh. Yeah. What's that, a screwdriver? Yeah, pretty. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's real. This right comes out like this. Couldn't even lift it. We oh, was getting nowhere, so, so this, and yeah. so yeah. we had a couple There, just like that. This right is a drill. Give uh. a Charlie, up comes Charlie. Either of you two interested in DIY at all? In, interested in school, yeah. but not, not something. You look like a DIY man, am I right? No, you're not. Oh. Okay. This is certainly proving testing for me, but let's get some experts involved. Are, are you into your DIY? I do you like DIY, yes. Do you? Right. Paul, interested in that? I work for a well-known DIY retailer. Do you? I do. That's good. This is the Power 8 workshop. Now, the idea is that I'm going to try, as a non-DIY expert, explain how it works to you, a DIY expert. Sure. It is a toolkit with a battery inside it. It's basically a toolbox with a battery. Does that? Does that grab you? So it's a box? So it's, it's a, a box, just like this. Or... Everything you see with a little battery pack on the side. Yeah. Rechargeable battery. Oh, so this goes in here. This is a drill. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Phil. Now, if you press the green button, Phil. Nice. Decide, do you like that? Yeah. Chris, you have a go at this. It's brilliant. It's really good. Look. That goes round. Isn't that clever? If you'd like to press the green button, Dave, I'll show you what it does. You like that? It's good. Yeah. Remote sound? Yeah. I'm a DIY convert and I can really see what gadget fan Peter Jones saw in this. Yeah. There are lots of other things you can do with this, obviously. We, that, that comes off. You can press this here and then you can put that like that. I must admit, I don't actually get to hold tools this big very often. Right. So and you have lots of different attachments. There's a whole bag down here as well. Now, I don't know what any of those are, but... That's a light. That's a light. <laughs> Thanks very much. Chris is on the board. Circular saw, yeah. And a jigsaw. And a jigsaw. Now, I can tell there's a torch in there. That'll be a torch. Yeah. Do okay. these uh, additional tools fit inside the actual box? Yes, they do. Absolutely. So, within there, you've got all that. So, you've got five or six different, different tools. All part of the same kit. As a DIY fan yourself, is that something that would interest you, do you think? Absolutely. It's always good to have everything, you know, because you have a drill, you have a circular saw, yep. you have a plate, you know, it's everything that you have, and then you end up, it's always in the wrong place. The batteries are always different, they're different manufacturers. It doesn't look to me like it's very much for somebody who is an expert at DIY because of the kind of universal nature of it. I think it is more for somebody who wants it for a tool at home right. that has different jobs that they do. Are you aware of anything else like this on the market at the moment? Not anything at all, no. But obviously you can buy drills, you can buy battery powered circuit saws yeah. and all that, and battery powered torches, but nothing that actually has it in a box and, and has a useful box rather than just being a box that you can take yourself out of. So if you're a dragon in the den pool and somebody comes to you with this invention, which is, you know, very compact, there's lots of stuff that goes into that, battery powered, big selling point, would you spend your money, would you invest? I think I would invest, but I'd look to go in with another dragon. Okay, too much of a risk on... I, I, yeah, for me to put all of my own money into that, I'd like to back up with another dragon, yeah. So I've never personally seen anything like that. Um, so again, with maybe numbers to back the figures, then maybe. To be perfectly honest with you, I'd be out. I think if I was going to invest my own money, risk it, I'd need a big, a big chunk of money, I think. So you're in the den, you're a dragon in the den. Uh, their entrepreneur comes to you and says, I'm afraid for this, yeah. would you invest? I would invest, I would. I think the main thing is I would buy one, which I think is the ultimate investment. And if you had the money, if you were a dragon in the den and you had all your millions of pounds, would you invest your money in that? Um, possibly. Can I take this with me now? No, you can't. <laughs> 
So once we'd worked out how to use it, a good reaction from the crowds here at the NEC. DIY enthusiasts will be happy to hear that Chris has designed another seven products, which will be brought to market later this year.